So fuel polishing is a topic that's always going to come up. Um, it's not very important in the United States and in Canada because our fuel is relatively clean. But as you go further afield like Nicaragua and you get fuel out of a truck that was maybe hauling wastewater before, fuel polishing becomes a lot more important. So the boats are fitted with fuel polishing systems. This one, the Reverso, they're all essentially the same. They're a pump with a, with a separator that does water separation as well as contaminant separation. So we can see on the manifold up top, uh, this manifold split into two, two pieces. So there's actually a welded seam right inside here that if you look really carefully, you can see through the polishing. So fuel in, fuel out. These are super simple. Make sure you're polishing the same tank. So in this case, you can see we're polishing the port tank. So we're pulling from the port tank. We're gonna come in to this filter in through a pump and back out and we're going back to the port tank. After you've got that, it's a timer. So roll the timer around for how long you want to polish and the system starts polishing. Way over here, there's a gauge that's telling us how dirty the filter is. When we start to see back pressure in the filter, we'll see the contaminant. It'll be time to replace it when we start to see a fair bit of back pressure and contamination. And that's how simple these systems work. When you're done with it, you think you've polished enough, either the rotary switch will come back to zero, or you can turn it off. Simple, no fuss, very simple system.